You know, I think the best thing a sports writer can say, this guy was the pride of Thunder Bay, Ontario, because Thunder Bay has produced some really great athletes over the years. This uh, goalie was a strong presence in the WHA in their formative years after uh, having a very strong minor pro career for uh, several franchises, actually more than a decade before he eventually broke in in the NHL and then became uh, a number one goalie in the WHA in 1973. Of course, we have to be talking about the very talented and the very durable Jimmy McLeod. Now, uh, Jimmy was born April 8, 37, like I said, in Thunder Bay. 5'9", 174, not the biggest goalie in the ice, but extremely uh, talented. He first came to uh, uh, amateur prominence with the Vernon Canadians of the OSAHL in 57. He eventually graduated to the uh, Muskegon Zephyrs of the IHL and the Seattle Totems of the WHL in 61 with 69 combined games uh, and also played 13 uh, games in the playoffs. So that was uh, 82 games combined that year, a busy year. Muskegon back uh, in 62 with 47 games and 82 again uh, split time with the, uh, the Johnstown Jets of the AHL and the Seattle Totems of the WHL. Now, he played with the San Francisco Seals in 63, the LA Blades in 64, and back with the Totems, where he was the number one goalie uh, for three seasons up until 1967, with 65, 45, and 41 games. Now, in 68, he found himself with the Portland Buckaroos as their unofficial number two, put up some really solid numbers, especially in 1969, where he had a two-point 2-9 average with uh, 23 wins, 9 losses, and 8 ties, and 8 playoff games. Now, he played with Portland up until 1971 uh, and 72 when St. Louis came calling. Now, St. Louis was kind of changing around their goalies because with Glenn Hall and Jacques Plant uh, kind of partially out of the mix. Uh, 72 had 16 games in his NHL rookie season with 6 goals, 6 wins, 6 losses, and 4 ties. Now, he played 13 games with uh, Portland that year as well, with a 10 tree record, but you knew something uh, was calling. Because 71-2 was a big year for him with a 32-10-3 record and again 11 playoff uh, games. Now, he eventually broke through with the WHA in 1973 with 54 games, with a 3.32 average, 22 wins, 25 losses, and 2 ties. Now, 74 was a rough year for him because he played technically with three WHA teams, teams that year, with the New York Golden Blades, the Jersey Knights, and the LA Sharks. 27 games, about a 4.25 average, 7-20 uh, that year, so kind of a rough campaign. 75, he found himself uh, back with Syracuse of the NHL and the Greensboro Generals of the SHL before he finally wrapped up his WHA career with Michigan uh, Knights in the Golden, uh, the Michigan Stags and the Baltimore Blades with uh, 16 games with a 3 6 and 1 average. So, ladies and gentlemen, not to sound completely bizarre, but he played with five WHA teams as part of three franchises in two years, and plus the, 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 the minor hockey uh, you know, uh, seasons in the NHL and SHL, so he could play in any format. So, final WHA totals. 32, 51, and 3, 97 games. NHL totals, 6, 6, and 4 with a 3 uh, goals against average. So, again, Jimmy, uh, unfortunately, passed away uh, in uh, Clackamas County, Oregon, in uh, 2019. But what were, when he's passing, there was one reporter that basically said he was probably uh, one of the key goalies that, that put the WHA on the map in 1973 and that 73 uh, season when again he was a number one goalie he showed consistency and uh, he had very very uh, consistent uh, save percentages that first uh, season with Chicago it was almost almost 91 percent so he's seeing a lot of rubber but he was keeping Chicago in uh, in every game so a uh, tremendous player so that's the legend of Jimmy McLeod if you like what we're doing here give us a like comment or subscribe uh, also, any requests are welcome. Check out our comment section. Check out our archive. We have uh, several hundred WHA podcasts, and if you have a favorite WHA player, pl please put her name in the search engine. And if we haven't gotten to your favorite, please let us know, and we will endeavor uh, through our uh, research and uh, overall respect for these players.
to get it done. Have a good day. Bye.